everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about how to buy gifts for movie collectors like us. So, if you are a family member, a spouse, a husband, a boyfriend, girlfriend, cousin, uncle, friend, and you want to buy gifts for a movie collector, not movie buff, uh, they, sometimes they do uh, go hand by hand, but I am not a movie buff. I am a movie collector. I like to buy a lot of movies, collect movies, watch movies, but I don't consider myself a buff, a expert on movies. <clears throat> so, here are my tips on how to get the correct gift. Not the best gift, possibly the best gift, but get you closer to that. So um, after the video, if you you're, you watching the video have any ideas that I did not touch, please leave them in the comments. <clears throat> that way other people can start reading the comments and also get a better idea. So let's help the community grow this idea. So the first step, so there's gonna be um, two or three steps. Finding the right gift, well, once you have found the gift, where to buy them, okay? So that's pretty much two steps. So the first step is how to find the best gift for a movie collector. Uh, it's kind of difficult, but <clears throat> one of the first ones that every, everybody's going to say is buy them a gift card, have them just buy it. Yeah, that's, that works out. <clears throat> but if you want to buy a gift from you, then that's going to be very difficult to so just give them a gift card and then, oh yeah, just buy a movie. So. My, my thoughts on that is you have to look at their collection. So if you a, are a family member that <clears throat> can go to their house, can or in close proximity, you could be watching and looking at their collection. Oh, two things will happen. One, you'll, you'll start to understand what movies they like, and then they will start thinking, and you will start liking their collection, and then you know a different aspect of bonding if you don't do that already so stealthily just look at their collection pay attention and <clears throat> that brings me to the next step what types of movies do they own so are they horror movies action movies are they in the plastic covers are they steel books or are they big boxes <clears throat> so you have to start looking at that what movies do they like what type of collectors are they? So do they collect, you'll see like big boxes. Um, if you watch some of my videos, you'll see the premium. And if you watch other videos, you will, I talk about premium, boutique, steel books, regular releases, special editions, special collectors. So keep an eye on, on that. What type of movies are they collecting? Because there are people that collect only steel books. So then if you want to buy something, you may want to get them a steel book. Some people just collect premiums, the really expensive one. Some pre people only collect boutiques, uh, Criterion, Arrow, 101 films. So I have a lot of those videos if you want to uh, look into my videos. I, ha I have a lot of videos talking about those different <clears throat> companies, those different labels, the different aspects, types, and all that stuff. So narrow down what type of collector they are. What is their favorite type of movie? Okay, so some people are big into horror. Some are big into international. And so on and so forth. Some are like Japanese, uh, Godzilla, monsters, kaiju, fantasy, sci-fi, romantics. So figure out what type of movies do they collect like the genre also what format are they collecting a lot and what are they missing so you could you know keep an eye out check it out and then figure out if they have a way of cataloging their their collection so if they go to like blu-ray.com and they do it you can find out their username you can go and look at their collection and if they have it updated then you can sort it look and that's a very useful tool <clears throat> for everybody to use. Once you get to a point of <clears throat> your collection growth, 
you're going to need some somehow to catalog it so you keep track of it so if he or she is using that you can use that to your advantage and find out what movies they have find out what movies they're missing so that's that's another point right there uh what type of collector they are now once you figure that out let's say they are a steelbook collector okay perfect now find out if they are pre-ordering find out if they have some holy grails but you're gonna have to be stealthy of course you can look at their movies and then you can go online where do we go online where do we buy the movies so let's say you want to buy them a steel book okay perfect we're gonna get them a steel book get this person a steel book now we're gonna go online and look but where okay so you're gonna have options you could, you could go Best Buy, you could go Amazon, you could go eBay, you could go Facebook Marketplace, believe it or not. You could join a group, or right, this person already has joined groups, so be careful with that. <clears throat> Where there is collectors, and you can trade and buy, and I'll find something. So usually, let's say if the person lives in the U.S., they're going to be buying steelbooks that are U.S. releases. So that's where it comes in handy with Amazon. Amazon, you could get Amazon uh, DE, which is uh, Germany. You could get, I think, Belgium, Italy, Spain, and the UK, Japan. But I don't know if they export from Japan. I'm not sure. But a lot of the outside countries have special edition steelbooks to their region. And if they already own the movie, you could buy it. And even if they can't play the Blu-ray or the DVD or whatever, at least you have the Steelbook, which is a variant. And a lot of the collectors do have region-free Blu-ray players, so you wouldn't be worried about that. And some of the newer movies, like on the 4K, they're region-free, so you don't have to worry about that either. So, now, you can narrow it down to Amazon International, let's say. Perfect. Now you buy a variant or something that it's from that country. And how did you find that out? Well, you could go to Blu-ray.com. On the top when you search, you could choose the little flag of each country, click on it, and then type in the movie Steelbook, and then it'll show if it's a exclusive from that country. So that's a very useful tool. You can also just look at their Steelbook and then look, oh, it's different. Perfect. Uh, for example, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, the uh, Best Buy had a, one type of release for the U.S. Europe had a different one, and in Mexico they had a different one. So it was it was crazy. There's like three variants. Uh, Steelbook with within the countries, there's variants. Uh, John Wick Three. I have a video where I have like four different. There's like four different Steelbooks just of that movie. So that's another thing you could do. Look at it, look at a variant, and then go buy that one, which is which is perfect. You could also go to Best Buy and look at the variants, have an idea of what they have already, and buy it. Be careful with the pre-orders. Uh, a lot of the collectors buy and do stuff pre-orders because they, that's the easiest way to secure a copy. Now, a way to get, let's say, a premium you want to buy them a premium you want to go above and beyond and spend on that premium you could go eBay route or the way I would recommend is mediacycles.com that's where I buy my premiums so that is my go-to store to buy premiums <clears throat> you do a group buy where it's what it tells a group buys this specific movie from the specific label so let's say HD Cita you go there you sign up you sign up for the group buy they're gonna send you an invoice you pay the invoice and it's it's really simple um, it takes a while so just be patient if you do get on a group buy that just you know started it may be months I'm not kidding it may be months before you get that movie and then that's not because the website is slow it's because of the process of the actual company that's releasing that that movie. So they take a while uh, to produce, release, and ship out. 
So be patient. Now, if you get it right on the, you know, on the cut line, then it should be quicker. At MediaCycles.com, there's also people selling their, their premiums. You know, sometimes they buy two, three, multiple ones, and then they're like, oh, I don't need it, and then they sell it. So you can take advantage of that right there and then, buy it from one of the members, and then you have a really cool gift. So let's, let's recap again. How to buy gifts for a movie collector, which is very difficult. First, look at their collection. Analyze what type of movies do they like. Check out what format they buy them. You know, you'll see if it's steel books, those are the metal ones. If it's premium, they're in like the bigger case. And if they're boutiques, they're, they have the little name, Criterion, Arrow. It's very specific. You can tell that they're different from the other ones. Now, once you narrow that down, now what type of movie and then where to buy them. So you could go eBay. Amazon, Amazon International is very good to get like special editions from other countries, collector's editions, numbered editions, serialized editions, which are really cool, and collectors really, really love those. So that is it for today. I hope I touched enough bases for you to have a, a, a vague idea on how to get a cool kit for a movie collector. I know this should have been done maybe before Christmas. But I didn't want to do it before Christmas because there's a flood of movies during Christmas and it's just crazy hectic. So this gives you a little bit more time to plan ahead and be more relaxed on this so you can get that perfect gift. If you have any questions about it, you can you know, leave me a question in the comments. I'll try my best to answer it. Also, don't forget about subscribing. If you liked the video, just give it a thumbs up. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.